And it was a great opportunity for us. And Sarah was very, very distant during the show and even before the show. And we had a meeting in between talking about it. Mm -hmm. Sarah got really, really upset and frustrated. And I know Sarah went from waking up around 3, 4 in the morning, going to work every day, not ever really traveling, to in two weeks practicing for 12 hours a day, waking up at 5 and 6 in the morning, not really getting much sleep, just basically going through a crazy, crazy schedule. And I don't think Sarah or Michelle even knew how hard this is going to be. Michelle had been on tour with Monica before, so she already had a taste of this. Right. So basically, Farrah just got really frustrated and stressed was crazy. Everybody was tired. Farrah said that she had to leave. So she left and went home. The three of us continued the interview. It was in Seattle. The next day, we had another big show for the Seattle radio station, and MTV was also recording it. And it was a very, very important show for us. It was live on the web. And Farrah also didn't show up for that. That night, we had an Australian tour that was a week long that had been planned like six months in advance. It was our first time there. This is Child was the first R&B group ever to be number one there for consecutive. And our single was number two there. And we had two sold out venues there. And it was very, very, very important to us. One thing about Destiny's Child, even when we were going through our problems before with the former members, Kelly and I still showed up for the performances and still did the show. Well, so, now, Kelly, your, your parents are Kelly's legal guardians, right? No, no, no. That is another rumor. Okay. Okay. Do not believe the hype. All of us, us and the former members all met at the exact same time. We were all like sisters, and Kelly just stayed, ended up staying with us all the time. My father and my, my mother never took legal guardianship. That, that's all from bull. I don't know what they Let's mean. talk about your father. <laughs> anyway. <for a> <laughs> okay. Which one of y'all was uh, pregnant by ODB? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that a, oh, that's another group. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, that's anyway. All of them. So, <laughs> in Australia, Farrah didn't show up, and we told her that definitely... It, Unless something is really wrong with you as far as physically, if you're sick or something, mm -hmm. any personal problems or issues is not an excuse to not show up for a job. Now, so, one of the girls that used to be in the group that was kicked out by your father and you guys said that she was sick when they were over in, when you were over in Europe. And her mother joined part of the tour in the United States. And no, her mother was in tour, on tour with us even in Europe. She was our chaperone. We got everything. And she was kicked out of the bus like 2 o'clock in the morning with Jagged Edge. I'm, you know, I'm and she sorry. Was Talking about the incident in Louisiana. Um, Beyonce, you sound like you sound really like kind of hostile about this. I mean, has this been this this whole the rumors and stuff? Has this really irritated Tired of you? It. Yeah, it's, I mean, and it's it's really old. We're kind of off of that now. We we sold six million records since then. We don't really discuss any of that. The old rumors and all that stuff. I, they died down. We're just happy now that we were able to move on with the two new members and we were still successful. But it's yeah. clear that the group is Beyonce and the girls, so why don't you just go solo? No disrespect to the other girls, but you know, we see how things are shaping up. You guys are on TV, the camera stays on you, you get the hottest Dior, they get your leftovers, and you know, that's a compliment to you. Why don't you just go solo? Well, I don't think that the group is Beyonce and the girls, <laughs> and I definitely don't get the hottest looks, and the camera definitely don't stay on me. Oh, come on. I, I sing the lead, and like an SWV and in uh, any other group, when someone sings the lead, then the camera is on them because they're singing the majority of the song. And I could have very well gone solo. Right. But because of my loyalty to the fans and because of my love for Kelly, that's something that I don't want to do and I wasn't ready to do. And we still had a hit album to do and we still are in Destiny's Child and there's still the Destiny's Child and we're still going to be performing. What role does your mother still play with you guys? She's still the stylist and the hairstylist and she's still always there with us on tour. That's you, Beyonce? Kelly. Okay, okay Kelly. Kelly. Oh, okay. Kelly, your mother's the hairstylist and stuff. No, Beyonce's mom is the hairstylist right. and the wardrobe stuff. Kelly, by the way, your new hairstyle looks real cute. Thank you. So, ladies, is the bottom line that it's going to stay a threesome group or you guys can go out for a fourth member? Yeah. Right now, we're vocally stronger than we've ever been. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Michelle has definitely added something to the group as far, definitely as far as vocally. Now, every single one of us can sing, which has uh, never been the case. Oh, whoa. So, so what are you saying? We can sing a cappella and <laughs> sound even better than ever before. Now, on the next album, Michelle will be singing more lead and the camera will be more on Michelle. <laughs> 
Michelle and Kelly, so, also Miss yeah, Wendy. And um, the other girls were saying that they never even knew when you were doing paid appearances and freebies. We got a schedule that told every time we did a paid performance and every time we did a free promotional performance. Uh -huh. But Destiny's Child definitely paid all of our dues, and we did so many free shows. Right. Free shows. That's why we were so successful because uh -huh. we worked so hard and for no money. Right. And I, I, I remember you guys came here a year ago for our stay in the wind with us and you performed at a school and that's when Bills First came out. How does it feel like it's been over a year and you're still working the same album? How's that feel? Well, it feels really great that the writers on the wall can ride out for so long. It shows how strong the album is and how strong we are definitely to still be promoting this album and it's just still in the top 20 and we're just gonna keep on delivering hits. I know we have another hit coming out with uh, the Charlie's Angels contract. It's called Independent Women. Wow. Beyonce got a chance to write and produce that. It's a hit song and we can't wait for everybody to hear. So it seems like it's hostility between you and the two members that were thrown yeah, out of the group. How's that lawsuit going? We're still working on the settlement. Because I had heard at one point that you that you all, you know, Destiny's Beyonce and the girls, that you all weren't allowed to perform and do a lot I'm of stuff. I'm sorry, can you please not call us Beyonce and the girls? I have to. Because that is definitely an insult to Kelly and Michelle. No, I like them, but the attention stays on you. It does. I don't think the attention stays on her, Wendy. I do think the fact that as a lead singer, well, like she said, when you look at any group, then of course, I mean, it's based on ability, and you can't even sit up here and say Beyonce and the girls. So, do you have any restrictions on where you all perform with the lawsuit pending? No. What actually did go down with you and uh, Jagged Edge? Kill all those rumors nothing right now. Nothing went on with us and Jagged Edge. We have nothing to do with Jagged Edge. They're very great, great artists, right. and I'm very happy. All of us are happy for their success. There was an artist that came through our show, and we won't mention his name. Will we, Dealey? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, we won't mention his name, but he was saying that Jagged Edge was romantically with all you all on the bus, and oh, your cool. father, Beyonce, threw them I'm off sorry? the bus. You know, the hormonal thing. Young girls, you're all attractive, they're all attractive. No, so I can bus. speak for Kelly and I. We've never had any 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 kind of relationship with uh, Jagged Edge and right. Ralph, per except this business relationship. Calm down. <laughs> so you guys are uh, definitely been through a lot and sold a lot of records so i guess in this in the same breath you kind of feel good and you kind of feel bad but i guess you feel more good than bad no there's no bad it, i think oh there's no bad we sold 6.5 million records wow. now, so we feel very blessed you should hey beyonce yes. i'm gonna just keep it real with you what about this whole thing with uh what's this uh the guy from houston rocket houston rocket <laughs> yeah mobley i don't know anything about that that must be another rumor hey, well, cool. that's 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 just that's clearing it up there's a lot of rumors cool, out about yeah. you guys but you know when you sell a lot of records there's a lot of rumors it's gonna come yeah, Successful. Yeah. Beyonce, do you still drive the Jaguar? Yes, I do, and it's an older one. And just to clear everything up, every single one of us all made the exact same amount of money. Yeah. So we all had opportunities to go out and buy cars. And I've been having the car for about two years, the same car. It was my choice to spend my money on my car, and it was everybody else's choice to spend their money on whatever they wanted to, but we all made the same amount of money. So your father owns the name Destiny's Child? Yes. Legally, we don't want to get into to who owns it names and everything. Why? Because we'll get in legal trouble. Exactly. <laughs> We're working on the settlement. Well, we want to okay. thank y'all for calling and checking in, checking in with us and like clearing things up. And I know you guys are coming to the city soon, so we'll, we'll be talking to you some more. But thank you for clearing things up. Thank you very much. We just want to thank y'all still for the interview and for letting, giving us the opportunity to clear it up. And we want to thank all of our fans for sticking by us. And we want to let y'all know that Destiny's Child is here and we're even better now hey. than we've ever been and we will be here. Beyonce! Yes. Did you hear that 702 broke up? No, I haven't. But that's their business. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Destiny's Child. Thank, thank you. God you bless you. All right. Bye-bye. All right. They still ended it with a God bless you. <laughs> they always have to. Now, several <laughs> things that uh, I noticed. What? She said Kelly and I. Right. She yes. basically, that whole Jagged Edge thing is probably true. And she's trying to push it on the two members that can't speak for themselves. Yes. Michelle, yeah. That's why she said Kelly and I. Also. Julian Dupree doesn't lie. Right. Also, right. He's going to lie about it. And also, she said, um, when you were talking about, uh, D asked her the question, and, and she, um, I don't know if D or, or what right. he asked her, but she was saying that, um, she kind of laughed and she kind of giggled when, she, uh, about the solo thing. She was like, like, Wendy, you kind of was like putting her out there like, yeah, you know, you need to go solo. And she was like responding, but it, responding in a way from the tone of her voice and the giggle, like, you right, Wendy, but I can't say that in front of them. Hmm. Mm. I, I see where you're coming from. Can we talk to some more listeners? Okay, we'll get some more listeners. Let's get back into this countdown. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, relax. Relax. Calm Let's down. get back to this countdown. We're going to start dripping, man. We're about to play Nelly. The song oh, number two and in the countdown. We're going to play Nelly versus this? <laughs>
And we'll come back and get some listeners as we wrap the show up, all right? It's the world-famous Dream Team show, number two in the countdown. Nelly.